Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to see about Reliance Infrastructure Limited quarter third results. So before going in this result fully guys, we want to say one thing about Reliance Infrastructure is that uh, as you all know this is quote by ADAJ group that means Anil Dribai Ambadi group and the main fact you should know in this that I think almost all the companies are under bad loans insolvency process for example Reliance Communications is under oh, insolvency process. So, one of our friend have asked about uh, this company result and I said that uh, whether the result are positive, whether the share would rise tomorrow or reduce tomorrow. So, we are going to see the result fully now and several specific points because I think some people will not know these points guys. So, that we are going to see the points so that it will really, see, really help you guys. And the first point is that before going to these points, let us see the results. So the basic result I'm going to try to say is that the total income is coming around uh, 4,500 crores, and so the total expenses is around 4,500 crores. So basically, the profit before all the expenses is coming around loss of 361 crores. So if we compare previous quarter, the amount of profit be after this operation expenses was 500 crores. And previous year also, at the same quarter, it was just 238 crore loss. But now the loss has expanded to 361 crore before any extra items. And if you see guys, uh, regulatory income, net of deferred tax. Deferred tax means it is a type of tax which may occur, which may occur over a long period of time. And they have said around 700 crores is the amount of net deferred tax which made this share to earn a profit of 337 crores. Similarly, if you notice, previous year also 359 crores was given and which made the company earn 121 profit. So, at finally, you are seeing a profit of 357 crores. People may think it is a good thing, but it is just a starting point, guys, because before saying this, you should know the amount of EPS this company is in. The EPS has increased from 10.86 rupees to 13.14. I think uh, you will put, you will be happy a lot. But I will just go above and say a simple point so that it will turn upside down. Because you should note a simple point, guys. Because these notes should be read. And the first point is that the auditor are saying. B did not review the financial information for 26 subsidiaries. That means they have not reviewed the report for 26 subsidiaries. For which they are having the total revenue of 4,276 crore as the revenue. And also you should see the net loss after this 11.88 crore. So what they are basically trying to say is that they have not audited this 26 subsidiaries. And that is the first point. And second point you should note here is that. There is a court case pending on these two companies because of the statement regarding dues payable to various electricity boards accumulated regular referral by the Honorable Supreme Court. As you can see here, this, this case is still pending and the auditor has not modified the report. And also you should note that uh, KMT Troll Trade Private Limited has terminated the concession agreement with National Highway Authority of India on May 7, 2019. So, it is all a basic things a person should know in this result because as you can see here, there are various points are given regarding this uh, subsidiary. So, if you ask me why don't you explain about all this. So, if I explain about all this, nothing but they, you know, simple go of say means they have explained about each and every subsidiaries they are taking over and the main points are trying to say is that this company has posted this loss, we are not audited it. This company has terminated this agreement. We are not seeing it. So that's what they are trying to say guys. And also you should know the method of depreciation adopted by the subsidiaries of Reliance Power as considered for the purpose of preparation of current statements. The share of profit after tax is being uh, redu would reduce by 24 crore and 87 crore respectively the equal amount if the investment is associated. So they have changed the amount of depreciation depreciation itself in order to increase the profit and also have a difference in it guys and uh, basically if you ask me whether I am impressed about this result is that uh, I think operators may use, use it as an opportunity to uh, increase the 
length of reliance difference is limited and also provided a maximum benefit maybe 20 to 22 rupees i think but investing at the current level is a very very risk guys because i don't know till a clear clarification come from the management regarding what their future progress is that because maximum of these companies are in losses today and we want to know what will be the future benefit for the company or there any survival hopes so if you ask me whether can i buy sell hold this is actually going to say if you want to buy if you say if you want to buy if you take if you want to take risk and earn a penny of our suppose we invest 19 rupees and want 20 rupees of target then you may invest so if you want to sell it if you ask me guys i think better to exit the stock and invest in some other good stocks or if you have really hope in the stock then wait let us see any other clarifications come from the management and uh, good things may happen and basically in this type of segment technicals do not work guys i make it careful in this segment technicals do not work because this is not a kind of stock which can trade on a frequent basis if you notice two days it will be lower circuit and third day it upper circuit two days lower circuit and one day it will be a normal trade so it is very very difficult in order to compute a technical ability for this company guys and this is about reliance process limited see the video very soon